Ian is a 55-year-old male T10 paraplegic with metastatic pancreatic cancer. He's being treated with third-line chemotherapy. Recent staging scans show disease progression. Ian's oncologist is unavailable due to an extended medical leave, therefore a covering physician will be meeting with Ian virtually to disclose the results of the imaging studies and discuss his treatment options. To be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified and uh, I'm trying to remain hopeful. Uh, I'm, I'm not expecting the best news. I'm never eager to go see a provider, especially one who I don't know. Ian, hi, my name's Katie Stowers. I know that usually you meet with my colleague, and so I appreciate you being willing to meet with me today. You know, your doctor told me a lot about um, the medical side of you, uh, but I would really love to learn a little bit about who you are as a human and as a person. Yeah, that, that, actually, that would be great. Tell me a little bit about who you are and what you think is important for me to know about you as, as your doctor. So uh, I'm a rapidly aging, middle-aged guy with uh, a family and a useless dog and all sorts of stuff. And, and uh, I, ha I have a bucket list that is not complete. And I would love to, I'd love to explore the bucket with bucket list with you uh, in a little bit more detail. I'm curious if you could tell me a little bit about what day to day looks like for you. I get up early and uh, I'm trying to get back into exercising. That's been a big part of my life okay. uh, since forever. And um, I'm just trying to live each day and, and do the most fun stuff, most meaningful stuff I can. My wife and I have a uh, teenage, a teenage kid, teenager, some call them. Um, so uh, I like to uh, try and help out in the kitchen, trying to get back into full-time work. A doctor once said, do you work to live or live to work? I'm working to live. Wow, Ian, you, I can tell there are so many aspects of your life that you have, um, that you have such passion for. And I'm curious if you could share with me some of the other things that bring you joy in your life. We like to ride bikes and, and get out and, and, and try to be active. And my extended family is very important to me. Um, I've become pretty much a homebody, but prior to that, we travel a little bit and, and we, we've got some, we've got some trips we still want to make. And I appreciate you allowing me to have a little bit of a sneak peek into to who you are outside of the medical record, which is the only peek that I had into you before. But I'm wondering um, if there's anything that you feel like I need to know about you as the doctor um, to be able to help care for you as best as I can. I get the feeling that I'm important to you, and I haven't always had that experience in the healthcare realm. Well, Ian, thank you for, thank you for sharing that. And I'm sorry that your experience with the healthcare system hasn't always been as positive um, as it could be. I think that's really helpful for me to know. If it's okay with you, maybe we'll switch gears a little bit and talk about the CT scan and where we go from here. I tried to impart on Dr. Sowers that my life was full and that it was important. And I could tell by the way she responded to particular things that I said that she understood and that made me believe that it was important to her, that nobody was gonna receive better care from her than I did. I never have to doubt a provider who I trust. I never have to ask myself, would I have received different care if I didn't use a wheelchair? When I trust a provider, I can think about the treatment. I can think about getting better. I can think about recovering. And I don't have to worry about, I don't have to spend any energy at all wondering if I'm getting their best.